What's made you do this today? I think to prove to myself that I am body confident, to prove that I don't need to hide. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be good. However, who thought a mastectomy could look so amazing? What do you do? You like full-time mum or...? Full-time mum, indeed. Hardest job in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been doing this for, Tiffany? This is my third year, so I've just had my little third year anniversary. And yeah, I, I really love what I do. I wouldn't change it for the world. I can't really see myself doing anything different. What's made you do this today? I think to prove to myself that I am body confident, to prove that I don't need to hide and I don't need to, to feel like I fit someone else's standards. And I'm happy. I'm happy to be a slight oddball. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to just strip? The grand reveal. Amazing. So glamorously done. Did you consider not having it done or? No, immediately I was just like, I want it off me. Then I can focus on getting better and focus on like the kids and stuff. I think I've kind of found myself a little bit more since having it, because you have to find different ways to be feminine. And just because you've got one boob or no boobs or two doesn't mean you're not feminine or pretty or elegant. So when did you first discover that you had cancer? It was July 2018, giving Harrison a cuddle in bed. And for some reason, I don't know what possessed me to do it, I put my left hand underneath my right armpit mm -hmm. and like rested my hand on top of my boob and there was quite a large lump. Really? So, here we were. You have breast cancer. With chemotherapy, when I first started it, I was like, oh, it's all right, it's fine, I can do it. And then the more the weeks go on, you go like, is this even worth it? Should I be doing this? And then you think, well, yeah, because I've got two kids that I want to see grow up. I've got a husband that I want to grow old and wrinkly with. There's, there's loads to live for. There's more to be gained than there is to be lost. So the thought process behind what? I asked you to kind of decorate me as. Mm -hmm. For me, going through my chemotherapy treatment, it was a little bit like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Sometimes you'd feel sleepy, so a little bit like the Dormouse. Other times you'd be going absolutely bonkers like the Mad Hatter. And other times you'd have like energy, like the March Hare. There's no one way to know exactly how you're going to feel because you might not the next day you might feel completely different and it's something that you just get thrown into so i suppose it's like alice going down the rabbit hole, the rabbit hole. oh my god it's amazing i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting it to be good however i wasn't expecting it to be this good on me who thought a mastectomy could look so amazing when you're in such a dire situation you're basically left with a choice of kind of life or death and I think you should choose life. Just try different things. This is not something I would usually do but I would 100% do it again. It's phenomenal and it's an experience that I'll never forget.